Uh, let me begin by saying that this incident is over. The suspect is deceased. Uh, following my press conference yesterday afternoon, the Sheriff's Office and per personnel from allied agencies continued our investigation into the uh, shooting that occurred uh, at uh, approximately 3 a.m. the previous night at the police department and resulted in the shooting of uh, a San Luis Obispo Sheriff's deputy in the head. Last night, uh, we knew that we needed an increase in police presence in the area uh, as we continue to look for the suspect in the shooting. Uh, last night at approximately 10.20, uh, the Paso Robles Police Department received a report of shots fired in the area of the 200 block of Spring Street. Officers arrived on scene to investigate. They saw the suspect matching Lyra's description and he fled from them into a nearby uh, apartment complex. Officers uh, surrounded the complex in the, the area with the resources they had at the time. And unfortunately, uh, Lara escaped through the riverbed um, south, as we determined a short time later. The uh, suspect was again encountered down at Ramada in Highway 46. Uh, Lyra, the suspect, was spotted and fired several shots at officers that responded and once again retreated back into the riverbed. Overnight, law enforcement officers were summoned. We used the assistance of the FBI SWAT team to assist, along with many other agencies, to contain the area of the riverbed. If you're familiar with the riverbed, it's very large and very long and we believe that we had the suspect contained in that area. However, it was a very large area. This morning, we made plans to begin our search of the riverbed. And so we summoned assistance. We received assistance from the Kern County Sheriff's Office, the uh, FBI again, the regional SWAT team, and Kings County Sheriffs, to name a few. Our plan was um, pretty straightforward, yet complex in the sense that we knew we had to search a very large area with a very dangerous person that was already wanted for uh, suspicion of a murder of a resident uh, and also the shooting of the deputy sheriff and the shooting at other police officers. Our plan was to begin a systematic search beginning in the riverbed area adjacent to the fairgrounds. The reason why we wanted to begin at the fairgrounds was because that seemed to be A, the place that uh, we had spotted him before. Uh, we believed it was a, uh, a good spot for uh, the perimeter that we had set up. And we intended to search all the way down from that area of the fairgrounds all the way down to Templeton High School, which is south of us here at, at this station. We had formulated the plan and, and the, the, the most critical part of the plan was is that we did not want the suspect escaping into any of the neighborhoods in Paso Robles or in Templeton because of the danger that he posed to ordinary citizens uh, and to law enforcement. <clears throat> so we sat on it overnight. We had the, the perimeter contained. We began moving resources in uh, to implement our plan. And the suspect uh, who was hiding nearby one of our containment units began firing at officers on the perimeter. They struck an Arroyo Grande sergeant that was uh, in town to assist. He struck him in the calf. It was a through and through wound to his calf. He was taken from the scene to the hospital where uh, he was treated for his injury. As soon as that shooting started, uh, we summoned all the deputies and officers that we had at the command post at the fairgrounds, immediately went to the area, 
to contain uh, a much smaller area to begin searching and apprehending uh, the suspect. After, uh, after we were all in place and began to implement a plan to begin a safe search, the suspect came out of hiding, uh, began to crawl up a short embankment in between two of our containment units. Uh, they, were, they immediately spotted him uh, coming from the, the brush and he reached a short hill I would probably describe as just uh, probably five to eight feet but steep. He reached the top of it and immediately began to run into the vineyard uh, where the hill was uh, next to. The suspect was shot uh, and during the shooting two, uh, two more officers were injured. One, a California Highway Patrol officer was shot in the bulletproof vest. A second a deputy sheriff from Kings County got out of the uh, armored vehicle to rescue the CHP officer that had just been shot and was shot himself just above his uh, knee. Both of those uh, officers were transported immediately to local hospitals uh, for treatment. It's uh, it, good to say that um, both have non-life-threatening injuries and uh, both are expected to recover. Detectives discovered two loaded handguns on the suspect that we believe uh, were taken in a commercial burglary that occurred the day before the deputy shooting in the city of San Luis Obispo. Uh, 